cool cats welcome back to another episode of Rumpa v3 killing harmony um i'm still getting over my cold but i really want to play this game um we left off on a cliffhanger and i i really want to know what happened oh hey samugi shuichi oh shuichi are you headed to the gym okay Yes, I am. Hey! I remember hearing Mew getting all worked up about it, but in Kibo's research lab, there are a lot of parts to upgrade him, right? If he'd used those, we wouldn't have to depend so much on Monkey and fights. Well, that's true, but Kibo said he doesn't want anything too sci-fi, so... Uh, but in this situation, maybe he should just get over that already. Well, we shouldn't force him to do anything. One man's bully is another man's trash. Hmm? Wait, is that how that goes? <laughs> Not quite. Oh well, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna go on ahead. Not gonna comment on how freaking creepy it is that Monokuma wasn't in his chair. No, it's totally normal. Okay. Smokes, why is it so creepy? Probably because I'm playing this in the dark. Wouldn't it be really creepy if, like, Kokichi just jumped out of nowhere on my screen just to freak me out? What is that? All right! All right, everyone's here. I hope you're all ready. Oh, are those weapons? Oh, yeah. So you went to my lab yesterday to find weapons to use against Monokuma. Got it. Yeah, that's right. Hey, guys! Anyway, let's get started. You guys better be ready. Uh, uh, you don't mean ready to die, right? Idiot. What? No, I mean ready to fight and win, obviously. Ready to fight and win. Yeah. Yeah, we challenged him a bunch of times, but it never worked out, right? That's because we gave up. Listen up. We can't... But this time we can't give up, because this is our final chance. We're going to beat up Monokuma and end this ridiculous killing game. <laughs> <sighs> what a quinky day. I was planning on ending this killing game, too. Upon hearing that voice, we all spun on a dime and saw him standing before us. Kokichi! You know, I was also thinking about how to end this killing game as soon as possible. <laughs> you little... What are you? I wouldn't move if I were you. At least, if you don't want to become this little guy's prey. What are you up to? That's... Is that a bomb? Looks childish for a bomb. Uh, the bomb. Yep, it's exactly that. Which means, if you don't want to be blown to pieces, then you need to listen to what I'm about to tell you. I would, I would try to catch him on his bluff. To be honest. So, wait, what was I gonna tell don't you? Lie. You're the one who said it. You little... What are you gonna do with that bomb? Ah. Oh, yeah. I was gonna tell you my purpose. See? You know how it says in the rules that the killing game will continue until there are only two left? But... But it never mentioned anything about how many you can kill, right? Huh? What? Well, you know. So here's a question for everyone. <laughs> Who wants to survive with me? Just the two of us. It can't be! It can't be you. What did you say? Are you planning to kill us with that bomb? Are you serious? And the way you were gonna end the killing game is... I thought maybe I should kill everyone. Except for me and, like, one other person. Kill everyone? If I did that, I'd be able to end the killing game and still abide by school rules, right? Well then, 
who wants to live. It's first come, first serve. On the count of three, first one to raise their hand wins. Don't screw around. Quit screwing around. Who'd ever agree to that plan? I don't know. If I were to be honest, I would say Samugi probably would. She's been like... She's... Ever since, like, day one, she's always the one to get a little panicky. Like... She probably would. I... Yeah, see, I don't think Kibo would. I know Maki would not be down for that. And, and there's no way Kaito would. And Himiko just definitely 100% wouldn't because of everything that she's gone through. That only leaves me and Samugi, and Samugi just seems like the type. Why you? I'm scared of dying, but nothing good will come from surviving with you. What was that? Ah, okay. So she's she's still not down for it. Look at that angry face. I also don't want to survive with someone who'd do such a thing to Kunta. You bastard. I'd rather kill you. Is that all right? Kokichi, you don't get it. We're not going to do what you want. Wow, what a surprise. I didn't think this would go exactly as I predicted. Huh? <laughs> I lied about killing everyone. I just wanted to test your determination. Huh? See, I would have called him on his bluff, though. Determination. Yeah. I wanted to see if you guys were determined enough to end this killing game. So let's work together. We can use the ultimate anti-monokuma weapons. Ultimate anti-monokuma weapons? These hammers? What? Determined enough to end the killing game? Never thought I'd hear you say that. What's wrong with him? I have no idea what he's thinking. Is he even actually human? After seeing that, Kibo seems more human than he is. You bastard. That asshole. How long is he going to keep screwing around? Oh Everything Kokichi said is putting a huge strain on our hearts. I didn't expect Kokichi to lay low, but killing all but two of us is a horrible idea. But he might seriously do it, too. Be careful, Shuichi. I know, right? He would likely want just me. Yeah. I knew you guys would be like this. Now I can definitely entrust the ultimate anti-monokuma weapons to you guys. Is he talking about the hammers? Could it be... The ultimate anti monokuma weapons? Are you talking about the hammers? Cut it out. Cut it out. There's no reason to listen to him, guys. Uh, Come on, at least hear me out. This is also Muse Memento. Uh, Muse Memento? Yeah. Yeah, they're called Electro Hammers. And there's something I asked Mew to invent. How exciting! They're a pretty incredible invention that disables any electronic machine on contact. Oh. Oh, I see. Huh? Disables electronic machines. <laughs> I bet that includes Kibo, too. They should be helpful against Monokuma, right? What? Huh? Helpful against Monokuma? Hold up. Hey, how did you know we were going to fight Mono... Oh, well, I just happened to be hiding in the dining hall when I heard you discussing it. The fact that you were hiding there means it wasn't a coincidence. But... But I was just so elated when I heard you guys wanted to fight Monokuma. Because that was my plan all along. That's how I want to end this killing game. And that's why I asked Mew to make this. To defeat Monokuma and the Monokup. Stop it. Don't lie. You've been fixated on this killing game the whole time. Always messing around. Is that really something Mew made? Aren't you lying about that too? I'm disappointed. Huh? You're gonna doubt that too? Of course! Have you forgotten everything you've done up to us till now? Yeah. Yep, I forgot. Yeah. How do you expect us to believe that? Because... 
doesn't make sense. If Mew made that weapon, why didn't she... Why didn't she use that instead of murdering someone? Mm. Yeah, if there were weapons to fight against Monokuma, we all should have fought together. That's... This is all your fault. Huh? Our fault? Oh, man. I told Mew too, you know. Around the time I asked her to invent this. I told her that we should fight against Monokuma, but she... <laughs> what a pain in my ass. Why do I gotta make this again? Well, you know... Quit complaining. This is all an unfuckable ugly bitch like you is good for anyway. What? Oh, oh okay. But... But this is so exciting. When this is done, we can probably defeat Monokuma, right? Especially when we all join forces. <laughs> Don't be stupid. We're gonna do it. Do it yourself. Mm hmm? Hmm? Um. It doesn't matter if we promise to work together. Someone will still betray us. Betray us and kill one of us. <laughs> Besides, this weapon won't make a difference. We'll be killed by an exile before we can use it. I just invented it because I was asked to. I have no intention of defying Monokuma. There's no way we can beat him, and I can't afford to die here anyway. Listen up! Oh, and I still need to invent something that's going to change the world. So if you want to defy Monokuma, do it yourself. Come with me! But, but, but if it does work out, come help me, okay? I'll do anything, anything to thank you. Someone will still betray us. That's what she said. Well, the exiles were still moving at the time, so I don't blame her, but... She was afraid to trust you guys. <coughs> the fear of betrayal overcame her. That's why she bloodied her hands in this killing game. That idiot. Well, you know. But you guys are different. You guys wouldn't lose to the fear of your friends betraying you, right? You showed your determination to fight together, and you ignored my advice from earlier. No. And you would lie about killing all of us just to test that theory? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I want you guys to do your best. Don't screw around! Quit screwing around! What are you saying? You probably just lied about talking to Mew. Ah. Oh. By the way, the Electro Hammers weren't the only thing Mew made. <laughs> she made this thing, too. What? <laughs> it's not exactly a bomb, though, even if it is called an electro bomb. It jams the electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with electromagnetic waves. For two hours, any and all electronic devices within 50 yards will be completely disabled. It's perfect for secret activities, too, since it doesn't leave any debris behind. This invention is extraordinary. But I only have three of them. My dad. So I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to settle for the electro hammer. Please wait. Settle. We have no intention of using such suspicious looking hammers. But are you sure? You can use these electro hammers on on only against Monokuma. But also to get through that underground tunnel. Huh? The underground tunnel? See? You can use the electro hammers to destroy the electric traps in that place. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Oh, are you finally starting to believe me? But... But be careful, electro hammers run out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use it against an exile, it run out of juice with just one shot, got it? Once the battery depletes, it takes 24 hours to fully charge, so watch out for that. Anyway, I'm done explaining, so I'll hand these electro hammers over. I'll let you guys talk it over. I won't interfere anymore either. Huh? Won't interfere? See? I'll be looking from a distance for something like that. You don't put me around anyway. No. Wait, wait. Before you run off again, there's something I need to ask you. What was that writing in the courtyard? If I remember correctly, that message that Gonta found, this world is mine, I believe it said. Did you write that? And if you did, why? 
Hmm, what's that? I have no idea. No, why? D don't play dumb. Your name is on it. You've got to be the one who did it. D don't play dumb. Your name is on it. You've got to be the one who did it. But... But I wouldn't gain anything from writing a message like that, would I? That would just make you guys suspect that I'm the mastermind. Huh? The mastermind? Because... Yeah, this world is mine, Kokichioma. Would make me seem like the mastermind. Ah. Oh, I know. This is all Monokuma's doing. He's trying to get us to suspect each other. But don't worry, I truly want to end this killing. Suddenly, a dark shadow slid between as quick as a flash. <laughs> I actually... I actually strangely believe what he's saying right now. Tell us the truth. What are you scheming? Like I said, I just want to end this killing game, that's all! If you don't tell us the truth, then I'll break you. Maki, I think he's being serious. Maki Roll, cut it out! You'll get killed if you don't! I told you, we can't play this killing game! That's just what Monokuma wants! Maki let go, and Kokichi's body fell in a heap on the floor. <laughs> Jeez, you're such a meanie. How could you do something like that to a friend? What? Friend as hip. You guys might not think that way, but I see you all as my friends. did that to Gonta, but I actually do think he wants us to get out of here. But that's why I'll be back. I won't interfere anymore, so please, continue to walk the path you believe in. Kokichi picked himself up and staggered to the exit. He left behind the electro hammers. Hmm. W what, what should we do? No. About the hammers, they gotta be booby trapped somehow. Hmm. But looking at it, it definitely seems like something Neo made. Hey, hey. Either way, I refuse to believe anything he says. Ah. But, but you know, if it's not a lie, then this. then isn't this our one chance to escape? Huh? What? Listen up. If we use these electro hammers, maybe we can get through the underground passage. So why don't we try it? What is it? You mean actually do what Kokichi is suggesting. What? No matter what we do, it'll be dangerous. But are you really going to believe Kokichi? But you know. Our goal is to escape with everyone, right? If there's a chance we can do it, then we should take it. We don't have enough time. Huh? Time? Uh, okay. Yeah, with Monokuma. Like he's gonna get in our way soon. Hmm. True. This is our best chance now that he's not making any obvious movements. Hey, so... So let's try the underground passage with these hammers. We'll get to the outside world. You're right. You're right. If we can escape, we'll find out the secret of the outside world for See. ourselves. We do not know if that's a lie or the truth, though. The secret of the outside world. The despair Conta mentioned. Was that a lie? Is it the truth? We have to get out. You're right. I don't know if- I don't think Gonta- even AI Gonta- I don't think AI Gonta lied. Whatever he was shown in that flashback light did encourage him to, to do this- that- that killing. So... Either- either the flashback light is so messed up that it messed his head up and he- he- he did something Meaning that every flashback light should be called into question in its validity. Or... Or the outside world really is messed up somehow in a way that's that's filled with far too much despair that he couldn't handle. You're right. You have to try. Yeah, that's all we've got. 
Well, the secret of this outside world might just be a lie anyway. We must do it. Either way, we should at least try, so we don't have any regrets. What should we do? What do you want to do, Monkey? That punk. If that hammer is a trap, then I'll really kill that ass. Come on, man. She can't kill him. Just punch him. Okay, okay. I know. I'm going to beat him to a bloody pulp. I see. I see. If everyone else is going to do it, I understand. Yeah. Then I'll prepare myself for the underground passage again. Yeah, right on. However, I'm still concerned that Monokuma has been so quiet. He hasn't shown himself at all since this morning announcement. Where is he? I suppose there's no point worrying about that. Not if I want to focus on moving forward. The only thing I can do is keep moving forward. Is he trying to figure out how to get those exosiles to move again? Because why else would they let us look at the exosile hangar bay? The only thing I can do, keep moving forward. Alright! All right, let's get going. We're gonna escape from that underground passage for sure this time. Kaito gave a triumphant shout. We all grabbed our Electra hammers. Yes. Yes, let's go. Mm. I'll be cheering for you. That's not it. Himiko, you need to come too. We left the gym in high spirits. All right. I need to go too. I should head to the underground passage. I took the final electro hammer and left the gym. Feels kind of weird that all those weapons are just lying in a pile there. I don't think I don't think this is going to go too well because I didn't hang out with someone the maximum amount of times like to to max Maki out. So, I don't know what's going to happen. Something bad. Um, Kiba, what's wrong? You're not gonna go head downstairs? Shuichi! Shuichi, I have a favor to ask of you. This hammer disables electronic machines, right? Could it be? Are you concerned that it will disable you too? Well, of course! Why, of course I'm curious! That outcome will settle once and for all how Mew perceived me. Hmm. I I don't think it's a good idea to test that. Remember that hydraulic press? Besides, it's supposed to use a lot of energy. We shouldn't waste it. I see. A waste, huh? I see. It would be a waste. Yes, we shouldn't be wasteful. Huh, so robots pout too. Kibo's got like a, a death sentence with, with all the crazy stuff he's been trying to attempt. Alright! Alright, let's get started! What should we do? Are we really gonna be okay? Mm -hmm. well, what are you afraid of? Of course it's going to be okay, right? Actually, you seem anxious too, Himiko. Huh. <laughs> There's no need to worry. Of course it's gonna be a little dangerous, but... Don't worry about it. We've got all these ultimates here. If we all work together, everything will be all right. Ugh. Those words. Yeah. Yeah. We can finally fulfill Kaede's wish. So let's all work hard to escape this place together. And once we get out of here and make it to the outside world, why don't we all stay friends? That's right. Yes, we made a promise together. That's right. Our promise to work together to get out of here and become friends. I see. Now's the time to fulfill that purpose. Hmm. I'll cheer for you guys. I told you. You need to do it too. That's right. That's exactly right. To keep the promise I made to Kaede. I'll never give up. I can't give up. All right. No matter what, let's keep our promise to Kaede. Let's keep our promise so we can mourn our fallen friends. I mean, we don't have time to talk. Let's go. Well, all we can do is move forward. We won't know if this hammer is Kokichi's trap or the real thing until we use it. 
Yeah. If the one who made these hammers really was me, and they, if they really work, then that's also the power of an ultimate. I don't know what help a cosplayer can be, but I want to fulfill my promise to Pekayere. All right! That's why I've decided I'm ready to move forward. Hey, Suichi. Leave the cheering to me. Now's the time to finally pull magical pom-poms out of my mouth. That'd be really something if you did that. I've come this far. I have no choice but to believe. With the hammer that Mew invented, I know we can do it. I have to believe that. I kept repeating that to myself as I stepped into the tunnel. the tunnel. It was so long we thought there was no end, but there was an end indeed. And in the end there was. Huh? Is this the exit? That's right. It seems like it. Look there. Oh my! Oh, it's a door on the other side of that door. It. Yeah, it's probably the outside world. We did it! We can finally escape! Don't get your hopes up. You need to know if this actually if this is actually the outside world. Sorry. You're right. We don't know what the outside world looks like now. Huh. <laughs> it's fine! Monokuma was just lying to us! The skies over this academy are normal, so the meteorites are probably gone. Everything's fine out there. I don't know. Gonta said that like the stars aren't the same stars that he used to know. So, I kind of wonder if it's artificial. Um. Anyway, let's open that door. We have plenty of time to for talk afterward. Mm -hmm. That looks similar to the electric barrier in front of the exile hangar. Unless we disable that, we won't be able to open that door. All right. Let's look around. Could it be... This is a control panel for the barrier. If it's like the one in the exile hangar, I should be able to disable the barrier with the passcode. Mm -hmm. Password? Does anyone know it? <laughs> we don't need that! Yeah. If it's electric, we just gotta destroy it with these hammers! It seems like this lock is controlled electronically, so we can use the electro hammer to open All right. it. Alright! Alright, let's destroy this control panel with the hammers and open this big dumb gate! Then everything will be over. We could say goodbye to this academy and the actual That's killing true. game. Finally, this death game is going to end. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, no, no. This is far too easy. Yes, at last we can return to our normal lives. Normal lives. Beyond the stores are normal, peaceful, boring lives. We'll be able to go home to those normal lives. The secret of the outside world can't be that awful, right? Let's go! Let's go! It's finally time to graduate from this academy of lies! With that, Kaito swung the electro hammer in. Ah! Smashed it down on the control panel. Also, why didn't Kokichi, like, come with us or wait here for us or whatever? What's he doing? Lock disabled. Ah. Yay, the door's unlocked. Right. Now we just gotta open up this gate. Let's yes. all work together. 
Yes, we can do this. Right, right? Finally, finally we can get out. We all ran to the door. We all ran to the door. And with our own hands, with our own strength, we open that door. What's it gonna be? Our door to the future. A future of hope and despair. Achievement unlocked. The truth is out there. Oh, Jesus. Their faces are not good. <coughs> These are not happy faces. These are pretty despair-filled faces. What is this? What's going on? What is this? Oh, I can't breathe. Ah. Uh, I, I can't breathe. The door is now locked. Barely conscious we heard a sound in our heads. What? What happened? Congrats! You finished the killing game! Oh, Are you okay? Get it together! It wouldn't be funny if you died here, you know. See? Your lives are very precious to humanity. Huh? What? Humanity? <laughs> well then, the fun starts now. It's finally time to reveal everything. I shook my head to see. The ground spun under me, but I managed to get to my feet. And at the same time... What's going on on the other side of that door was? Damn. Where even are we? What in the world is going on? Hey. Good morning, everyone. How are you guys feeling? Terrible. <laughs> of course you guys are, because you now know the truth of the outside world. Huh? The truth of the outside world? <laughs> You saw it, right? The outside world you guys so desperately longed for doesn't exist. What are you talking about? What do you mean it doesn't exist? Mm -hmm. Do you want to know? Then I'll tell you. I'm getting kind of bored with all the lying, so everything I say now will be the truth, Kay. Okay. Everything began when that despair came falling from the sky. There was no way to avoid the numerous amount of meteorites raining down on Earth. Leaders of every nation realize that we could not escape the end of the world. Please wait! Hold on, the end of the world? What are you talking about? Hmm. Jeez, you better not interrupt me again, or I'm not gonna tell you anything. Got that? <laughs> but, but. Um. Keep out. You should listen to what he has to say. <laughs> Continuing on where we left off. The leaders of every nation wanted to prevent the extinction of the human race. So they decided to implement a plan. The Gopher Project. A plan to place talented humans in a spaceship in order to help them escape the world's end. So that they may find another planet where they can preserve humankind. The Gopher Project wasn't implemented to save the human race but rather to salvage the human race. Sixteen young and talented high schoolers were chosen for the Gopher Project. These Adams and Eves of the New World were known as the ultimate students. But the sixteen students refused to partake in this plan. Well, it's obvious why they wouldn't. Surviving alone? Family and friends left behind to die? That's just hell right there. So then, 
the 16 students decided to flee from the project. They erased their memories to forget their ultimate talents, to become normal students. <laughs> but it was around that time a certain cult organization rose in power. Those who believed in the end of days were convinced humans deserved the meteorite's wrath. When they discovered the Gopher Project, they plotted to sabotage the plan. That's when the ultimate hunt began. The ultimate hunt affected all society. Those influenced by it searched for the 16 students. As a countermeasure, the organization responsible for the Gopher Project spread misinformation claiming that all 16 students had died. That was our memory of the funeral. I see. This is actually helping piece together so many things. With this, they were able to quell the ultimate hunt, shelter the 16 students, and carry out the Gopher Project. The Ark's launch succeeded, despite the meteorites and the destruction of Earth. The 16 ultimate students were sent off into space as humanity's last survivors. How exciting! In that Ark, it's the true identity of this Academy. Huh? What? The Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles? is actually a gigantic spaceship colony. But how? Th th this whole academy is one giant spaceship colony. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? What? You really think I'll believe that? <laughs> Whoa, hold on now. This story isn't done yet. By the way, don't you think it's strange? Why do you think the killing game happened on the Ark? Humanity's last hope. Which means... Actually, the organization behind the Kofor project made one terrible oversight. Yes. A horrible person hiding among the 16 chosen to be the last survivors of the human race. Huh? What? How exciting! It was the leader of the cult organization trying to crush the Gopher project. And they hid among the last survivors of the human race and prepared a robot on this ship. Yeah. Yep, that robot is Monokuma. See? Originally, the 16 chosen students were placed into a state of cold sleep and were only supposed to wake up once the ship found a suitable planet. But Monokuma manipulated the Ark and brought it back to the ruined Earth. Although the 16 were supposed to wake up on a different planet, they rose from their sleep. You know? And now they're here. Hold up. If we return to Earth, that means... What you guys just saw? That's Earth now. W what did you say? That's Earth after a few hundred years. While we were in cold sleep. And Earth destroyed by meteorites. Without oxygen or living creatures. And Earth without any cities. Or any people you knew. That is the truth of the outside world. Holy crap. Which means... There's no place for you bastards to go home to. That's why it's pointless to go outside. <laughs> the outside world doesn't exist anymore. What? It doesn't exist? Yeah. The Earth and humans have died out ages ago. Except for the last 16 survivors of humanity. Oh. Well, last 7 survivors of humanity. It's a lie! That's a lie. It's definitely a lie. Man. I already told you I wouldn't lie anymore. I'm tired of lying, you know. So that means... Anyway, I gotta confess. You know that cult I mentioned earlier? The leader is me. What the fudge? I can't freaking tell what is a lie and what's the truth with Kokichi. Because... He was such a bad liar in the beginning, but he was constantly lying. Just every time he opened his mouth, it was just one lie after another, after another, after another. Which makes him a pretty bad liar. But 
The problem is, is like, when he starts telling a truth, everything sounds like a lie. And everything that could be a lie might actually be the truth. And it's just, it's so impossible to pick him apart at this point. I can't tell what to believe or not believe. He's so incredibly frustrating though. Because I, because I can't understand what's going on until I, I don't know, finish this game. So it all feels like he's, he's just like keeping stuff from me and it's so frustrating. <sighs> huh? Anyway. Which means the mastermind who snuck Monokuma onto the Ark is... <laughs> me. But how? Kichi, you are the mastermind. You know what? That's a lie. No mastermind would make it this easy in Danganronpa. Kokichi, you're the mastermind. Well, you know. I didn't want to just crush the gopher project. I wanted to ruin it in the worst way possible. <laughs> so I came up with a plan. Let's have more fun. What could possibly be worse than the last 16 survivors of humanity killing each other? What? What? You. It's a lie! It's all gotta be a lie! Oh, you want me to lie now? But you guys always told me not to do that. <laughs> I'll show you the irrefutable evidence that I am the mastermind. You're gonna prove it, are you? Kokichi took out what looked like a remote control out of his pocket and fiddled with it. And a minute later... Exosols? What's going on? I thought only the monocubs could control the exosols. Well, I'm different. Since I'm the mastermind, I control everything in this school. <laughs> as long as I have the master remote control, all exosols move on my command. Then... So, you really are the mastermind. Don't tell me. You were always suspicious from the start, but for you to be the mastermind... Oh, man... You look like you don't believe me, Shuichi. Because I know it's... I know it's not true. I know it's not true. I know for a lot of reasons. And... And, and part of it is because I've already been semi-spoiled by, by some comments and, and, and messages that I have deleted and removed. But I've been partially spoiled. So I know, I know you can't be it. But I, I wouldn't have even thought you were in the first place. Super frustrating. I don't understand why you're doing it though. Why are you doing this? Like, what's the point of all this? Are you trying to draw out the real mastermind by doing this somehow? I'm so disappointed in you. I even gave you such a huge hint, but you still didn't get it. How boring. I was waiting with so much anticipation to see when you guys would figure it out. What is it? Hint? You left that message for this? Maybe. But I guess that precious hint went to waste. All because you bastards trusted each other. Huh? Huh? Hmm. I told you, you guys should have doubted each other more. You guys could have realized that I was the mastermind earlier, and there could have been le even less victims. <laughs> Actually, Kaede had the right idea to try and kill the mastermind at the start. <laughs> Too bad, though. If only she had killed me then, this killing game would have ended. Huh? You mean? <laughs> this is the truth. That, uh, this is the truth to the killing game. Well, this turned out not so boring, right? Not anyone could have organized a killing game with the last 16 survivors of humanity, you know. Damn it. Are you saying it's the truth? Were we just being led around by you this whole time? You mad? Oh, you mad? So what are you gonna do about it? Shut up! Shut up! Of course I'm mad! Always messing around. Don't think you've won just because you've got the exosiles on your side. Because we've got the electro hammers. <laughs> what? happening wow oh typical kaito i guess things aren't going your way lucky for me you ran out of juice what? The, the electro hammer 
That moment, his electro hammer powered down, not just Kaito's. Every electro hammer powered down at once. Well, you know. I told you, didn't I? The problem is that it runs out of battery pretty quickly. But. But that lasted longer than I calculated, so I was actually starting to get a bit nervous. You? D did you calculate that too? My bad. Sorry, Kaito. Your tiny brain is just too different from mine. Please don't. D don't glare at me like that. Punching me won't solve anything either, you know. You can't resurrect the dead. You can't turn the earth back to normal. Right? Right. Always messing around. E even if that's the case. Don't screw around. I can't get over it if I don't punch you. Kaito. Kaito, wait. I tried to stop Kaito before he ran off, but I couldn't grab him in time. <laughs> Jeez, your stupidity can't be cured unless you feel a bit of pain from it. Stop it! Oh no, you're gonna make Maki really upset. But, but Maki's scream was in vain. Before our very eyes, Kaito charged at the exile and was smacked down. He hung limply from the exile's hand like a rag doll. Kaito! Don't worry, he's not dead. But now you know, right? There's no use defying me, the mastermind. Me! <laughs> These exosols were originally machines to protect us. They were built to shield us from any danger that might pop up on other planets. But now I think it's hilarious how much they've become a threat to you guys. Uh oh. Get Kaito. Huh? Maki, get it back. Get Kaito back. Eyes were screaming murder. Maki glared at Kokichi and moved towards Maki. Me. No, Maki, even if you. Do you want to die? Let go. Do you want to die? Uh, Maki! It's no use. I, I won't let go. Even if you kill me, I can't let go. Please, Maki. Shuichi! Nice job, Mr. Ultimate Detective. That was a wise call, Shuichi. But. But your talent is useless now. The mystery of the killing game, the secret of the outside world, the mastermind's identity. They're all solved. We don't need a detective anymore. This is the true ending. Ending? What did you say? If this is the ending, then what are we supposed to do now? If the world is destroyed and we are the last human beings left, <laughs> what are we supposed to do from now on? How about doing anything you want? Okay. I know I started this whole thing, but I'm bored now, so sorry about that, guys. <laughs> That's why I wanted to reveal the truth. I wanted to see utter despair on your faces. Yeah. Yuppers, I'm totally satisfied now, so you guys are free to do whatever you want. Wait. Oh, hold on. You're the one that started all this. That's so irresponsible. You guys can commit suicide together or kill each other. Or you can change your mind and stay here. You're welcome to do that, too. Thanks to the school's barrier, there's plenty of oxygen. <laughs> it is the Gopher Project's Ark. It's supposed to be humanity's last hope. Oh, this was the whole... Okay, this is why there was that whole Moses thing. Okay. Oh, but did you guys know? The sky on the other side of the barrier isn't real. That's just one of the Ark's functions. It's meant to help us forget we're on a spaceship. So that means... So anyway, the killing game is over. Now you can do whatever you please. Huh? I don't know what to do. You bastard. What do you plan to do with Kaito? Ah. Oh, I just want him to chill out for a little bit. Hot-blooded idiots like him are trouble. They do whatever they want without thinking about the consequences. If it's just him, I can deal. But if he gets all of you involved, then that's totally a hassle. Also, the killing game might start up again if I let him run around. So that means... Anyway, Shuichi, can I have the XSL hangar's alarm remote back? See? 
I was thinking that'd be a perfect place to keep Kaito in. Stop it. Don't give it to him, Shuichi. Shuichi! Hand it over, Shuichi. Bastard. Don't give it to him. Well, you know. You know what'll happen if you don't hand it over, right? This school is mine! I am the king! I, Kokichi Oma, am the mastermind and king of the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles! <sighs> Yes! This world is mine! Sorry. Sorry, Maki. I couldn't meet Maki's eyes. I gave Kokichi what he wanted. <laughs> Thanks! Kokichi's evil yet innocent smile stayed on his face as he took the key. And then, he simply left. He solved the entire mystery for us, and left. He left us there with the truth. The truth of our despair. Oh, Himiko. Are you okay? Himiko, are you okay? Am I okay? How can I be okay? The outside world, everything's destroyed. Everyone's dead. <laughs> everyone at school, everyone in my neighborhood, they're all dead. Uh, um... Calm down, Himiko. <sighs> what am I supposed to do now? There's no point in living anymore. That's not true. For all we know, we could just be in, like, one of the worst parts of the world. There might be other parts of the world that are fine. Which means... The Ultimate Academy is a spaceship, and we are the 16 survivors of humanity. Unfortunately... This killing game we've been playing... Why pit the remnants of humanity against each other for a world that no longer exists? It's and the mastermind who engineered all of this and is forcing us to participate is Kokichi. Oh no! I, I can't. My mind feels like it's about to short circuit. Me too. Uh, um... Oh no. Smoogie's got the crazy look. Smoogie, are you okay? She's got a thousand yard stare. So you're used talking to her right now. God, she has like such... Her design just looks so Yandere. I don't know why, but she looks like she could just literally go crazy at any point in time. Uh, um... Maki. <sighs> Coward. Uh, okay. I know. But... I just don't have the strength. I can't fight back. I can't do it. The whole truth was revealed, the conclusion. This is the end. There is no outside world. We're the only humans left. Trying to get outside was pointless. We played the killing game for it. It was all meaningless. That's the conclusion. Uh, nonsense! So what did all the others die for then? <laughs> so this is the despair that Gonta felt. So much despair, you want to die. It really is just like that. It is. It's like this. It would have been better if I died a lot earlier. <laughs> then it's all over now. That's true. This is the end of everything. Our story ends here. There'll be no more death, no more killing game. It's all pointless. The truth is... We all should have just died a long time ago. I don't even remember how I got back to my room. So, what then? Was, like, Kokichi's plan to, like, get everyone to not feel like continuing this killing game anymore and just give up? Is that, like, the, the whole grand plan? I don't even remember how I got back to my room. But before I knew it, I felt my body in the bed, numb. Do 
didn't want to sleep. I just wanted to run away from the despair. But the sleep came anyway. Titanic. Did you know that when you talk to someone on a cell phone, you're not hearing their real voice? Their voice is converted to synthetic sound when you're both communicating. By breaking down their voice into various waveform patterns, the phone reassembles those patterns to recreate the characteristics of the speaker's voice. This reduces the amount of voice data that needs to be sent to make the calls possible. Also, you know how shaved ice has flavored syrups such as strawberry, melon, and lemon? They're all the same flavor. The only difference is the aroma in the food coloring dye. Yeah, I found that out from, um, from Persona, actually. Do you think these facts are lies? Do you deny that these facts are lies? <laughs> what would the world be like if all lies were denied outright? I bet it would be a very lonesome world. Lies are what makes the world go round. Where's Monokuma? Monokuma must not be here anymore. There's no point in morning to morning announcements now. So it's really over. There's no point to this killing game anymore. No, there's like another shelf. I guess there's no reason to go outside. There's no reason to keep living. There's no reason to live. 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 This is an epilogue. All that's left is to take up time. What a boring story. There's nothing I can do anymore. I wonder what everyone else is doing. Someone's gonna be killing Kokichi. That's what's going to happen. Kaito is doing. Uh, okay. That's right. I wonder if Kaito is okay. Is he? It's no use. My mind isn't working in my body. What is going on? If you're searching for the meaning of life, then you're already doing it wrong. Your life doesn't need a meaning. It just needs a purpose. In other words, you just need something to live for. You can live for spending time with loved ones or chasing dreams. You can even live for eating delicious food or playing games. Most people can get by as long as they have something to live for. If you say Danganronpa is your reason to live, I couldn't be happier. It's been a real pleasure doing business with you. Oh man, Shuichi, you need to get up. Something has got to be going down. Oh my god, still nothing? Shuichi, you have to get up. It's morning. How long have I been like this? I should get up, or I might not ever get up again. I... I don't care if I just kill my... Maki, huh? you need to get me out of bed. What? My body reacted reflexively as I heard the doorbell. Ah. Oh. Uh. Somewhat surprised that I even managed to get out of bed, I went to the door. Uh, um... Who could it be? Maki? On my feet for the first time in a long while, I walked in easily to the door. I slowly opened it and... <sighs> he looked terrible. Uh, um... Ma Maki? Oh, his... Oh my god, he does look bad. Oh Jesus, guys. He looks like he's about... On the verge of despair. Shuichi, please do not kill anyone for the love of God and don't kill yourself. Don't make Kaede upset. Hey, go take a shower or something. Anything to help your face. I'll be in the dining hall with everyone else. Huh? Everyone? Okay. I'll be waiting, so hurry up. Maki spoke curtly and I then left. Everyone is waiting in the dining uh, hall. Um, I guess I should go. Where's Kaito? 
Everyone was in the dining hall, beside Kokichi and Kaito. But mentally, they weren't really there. The life had gone out of their eyes. Everyone here looks terrible. Really, even I look terrible. Well, your face always looks like that. Oh my god, her face! I, I still think that she's gonna commit a kill, guys. I really do. What are we talking about? We're discussing how we want to die, right? Huh? What? Uh, want to go without suffering. Rocky, can you do something about that? Okay. Sure, but before that, take a look at this. Oh. Is that a flashback light? Even in such a dire situation, robophobia still persists. Don't stop me. I just want to die. Tenko probably wouldn't be mad if I chose to die in this situation. Yes, she would! <sighs> the flashback thing. Now that we've learned everything, there's no point to it. Um... Maki, why do you have that? I see. It was on top of the table when I went to the dining hall this morning. Huh? It was just sitting there? Mm -hmm. Okichi probably just put it there. Well then. To confirm the truth, perhaps. If we use that flashback light, we may recover memories that corroborate his story. So we're supposed to use the flashback light to confirm the truth Kokichi told us. To confirm anything, we saw the outside world for ourselves. Hey. Do you want to die comfortably? I can help you, but we should check the flashback light first. Huh? What? Why do we have to do that? Because it's the only thing we can do right now. If we're going to die, then we might as well do anything we can. We'll have no regrets that way. That's right. And even if it is dangerous, wouldn't matter anymore, right? Either way, there's nothing for us to lose. We don't have any hope left. Well, so, let's do what we can. <gasps> oh, okay. Things won't end up any worse than they already are. So, when you kill me, will it be like I'm falling asleep? It's decided. It's decided. Kibo, Shuichi, are you fine with that? <sighs> yes. Very well, then. Uh, okay. Thus it was decided, fairly, plain, painlessly. Flashback light suddenly appeared. Nothing could be more obvious and suspicious. But because our spirits were already broken, we had nothing to lose anyway. Hey. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. Maki switched on the flashback light, and at that moment, the world flipped upside down, turned inside out. Wait, some of those words are different than before. That's, that's it. I remember. Everything is connected, and we had forgotten. We had forgotten that everything is connected. It all started at that academy. A government-backed school that nurtured the most talented students in various subjects. Hope's Peak Academy. And the event that tore the school apart changed the world. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history it triggered a wave of terrorism and war across the world. Humanity's true despair. Half the world was destroyed as a result of that terrible violence. And that tragedy was caused by a single high school girl. The ultimate despair, Junko and Nishima. She used whatever means necessary to paint the world in despair. The killing game of the 78th class of Hope Speak Academy was the, the same way. Trapped by the ultimate despair, forced into a killing game. But after Junko and Ashima died, 
the case was closed and the world slowly began to recover. But Junko's disciples, the remnants of despair, weren't done sowing chaos. The Future Foundation fought against them, trying to restore order. The war between hope and despair grew more and more extreme. The fight raged on, but came to a sudden end. And then, and right then, it was from then on that we remembered. It was the beginning of our truth. One day, terrible despair suddenly rained from the sky. A countless number of meteorites fell upon the world, carrying an unknown virus. Emboldened by the overwhelming despair, the remnants cried, Humanity deserves damnation. The Future Foundation was overwhelmed by the renewed despair and quickly lost influence. But then... Makoto Nagi, together with the former members of the Future Foundation, started the Gopher Project at Hope's Peak Academy. Only genius can overcome nature. Only hope can overcome despair. Our young geniuses must escape this earth to become the seeds of the future. That's the only hope for humanity. With those principles, the Gopher Project began and the 16 Hope's Peak students were selected. We were those 16 students. That's it. We weren't all attending different high schools. We were all attending the rebuilt Hope's Peak Academy. We were the students that applied after learning Hope's Peak was rebuilt. And the new Hope's Peak was like that, was like the last in that we accepted applications for talented students and cultivated ultimate students, ultimate talents. Hope's Peak Academy was a large school, so we were all in separate classes, but we're all students of Hope's Peak Academy. From the candidates, the 16 of us were selected for the Gopher Project because, no, we weren't selected. We were the only ones left. The mysterious virus from the meteorites had spread rapidly from around the world. The entire world was on the brink of extinction. Hope had almost triumphed, but cruel despair came roaring back to overtake the world. We just happened to be immune to the virus. That was the reason why we were chosen for the Gopher Project. I finally remembered. That world, this world, it's all connected. That's it! Everyone, did you all remember? Yes. Yes, I can vividly recall everything now. I guess. Yeah. Why, how could we forget something so important? Yeah. They're all students of Hope Speak Academy. You are the symbols of hope entrusted with the survival of humanity. Okay. Except for one person. That punk. Okichioma, the mastermind behind this killing game. His organization's real identity. They were the remnants of despair. That's right. The cult organization out to destroy the Gopher Project. If Kokichi is the leader, that means he controls the remnants of despair. Out of all of us, he is the closest to the ultimate despair. Hmm. It's so obvious, a killing game like this could only be done by the remnants of despair. Last trial, Monokuma, students of Hope's Peak Academy. It's all just like Junko and Oshima's killing game. Only someone who worships the ultimate despair would replicate that killing game. Which means... Which means that this killing game is just like the one that came before. It's a battle between hope and despair. A killing game that mires hope and dark despair. Is that a minute? Wait, hold on. If this was such an important killing game, then why did Kokichi abandon it? No! No, 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 
Junko, Junko wouldn't abandon doing something. That, that, no, no, no. If she was bored, she would just freaking kill more. She would cause more despair. She wouldn't, she wouldn't give up. That's also something the remnants of despair would do. They admire Junko and Ashima, right? He made an elaborate plan to cause us to despair, but I got bored of that plan. Jeez. Wanting to feel the despair of your plan being ruined, that's ultimate despair for you. Hey! What's wrong, Maki? He's so low. I think. Just not convinced. It's okay. It's probably fine, though. It's not a big deal. Okay. Are you sure? I finally learned the truth, but we still can't do anything. Even if we get out of this academy, the outside world is still destroyed. There's no hope left for us. Everyone! No! We just need to become that hope! What's wrong? Well, what's with you all of a sudden? If I must. If all hope is lost, then it's up to us to become that hope. After all, we're students of Hope's Peak Academy, aren't we? We're all that's left of the six team who survived the battle between hope and despair. Listen closely. If we give up now, everyone who fought on the side of hope will have fought for nothing. That's true. Fought for nothing. I heard it. That's what my inner voice is telling me. That no matter what, I cannot abandon hope. I cannot give up. Yes, that's what it's urging me to do. I don't know what his inner voice is. I don't think... I feel like it's, it's being transmitted to him. I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually really suspicious of both Kibo and Samugi. I just, I can't see Maki being the one behind all of this. If, if, if it is, she gets like an award for like the most convincing actress ever. And I don't think Himiko is behind any of this. Leave it to me. So I will not despair. Even if it's only a little, I will move forward with hope. Uh, okay, Kibo, listen closely. Right now, there is no use in thinking about whether our lives have meaning or not. Because as long as we are alive, we still have the power to decide that meaning for ourselves. That's what I believe hope is. I see. That's what hope is. I see. Yeah, you're right. And the students of the new Hope Speak Academy rebuilt as the symbol of hope. Yeah. If we, the students of Hope Speak, give up, the world would really be plunged into despair. You're right. I got it. In the end, it's all about willpower. I'm gonna live till the end and never give up. Mm. We won't be able to do anything in that destroyed world. Great, huh? But making the impossible possible is what magic is all about. Mm. It's a pain, but it'll be worth it. I'll live. I'll live for a hundred million more years. That's impossible. You guys. You're right. You're right, let's do it. All right. Let's fight together against despair. Yes. yes, as long as we stand together without giving in to despair, we will find a new hope. We all stood in unison. We each felt the power of hope coursing through us, driving our bodies. The hope were born in this academy, a tree of life with roots down deep. It was supporting each and every one of us. Yeah. Motivation is rushing through my entire body. <laughs> This is the power of hope. Uh, a laugh like that, you sound less like a mage and more like a wicked witch. <laughs> <laughs> Kokichi may have left that flashback light to make us give up, but if that was his plan, it failed. It's true. It does seem as though Kokichi's plan went wrong somewhere. The only person who can give us flashback lights is Kokichi. Hey! Huh. But I don't think Kokichi's doing that. Either either Monokuma is doing this to Monokuma is doing this to like do something, maybe? Because Kokichi no 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 no. If this was Kokichi's plan, I have a hundred percent faith in Kokichi that he would actually like, succeed in what his plans are. This would be, like, the first time Kokichi's plan did not go the way he had planned it. And I don't think Kokichi 
is the type of person to have failures. <laughs> I may not like him, but he's not the type to fail. Ah, uh, so what's our plan now? What are we going to do about Kokichi? That's right. We've got to stop you know who, the remnant of despair, or this despair will never end. Okay. We have to save Kaito too. Oh, look at that smile! You're right! Yeah, of course! Right. He's so stupidly positive. He's just the kind of guy we need at a time like this. That's right. With Kaito by our side, encouraging us, then even if we are the only people left, I think we can still find a new hope. Guys, we're really putting a lot of words on him and we're just raising his death flag. Yeah, that's exactly right. I knew that. Even in a situation like this, he'd think of something. The problem is, where are Kokichi and Kaito? It's okay. They're in the exile hangar. Huh? Both of them? Kokichi did say that Kaito would be trapped in there by a chance. Happened to see Kokichi leaving the hangar during nighttime yesterday. What? By chance, really? Right, right! I bet the truth is you are worried about Kaito and are watching the hangar all day. <gasps> Looks like that was the case. So what? It's not like I was worried about Kaito or anything. I just had nothing else to do. Also, I'm used to watching others, so it wasn't any trouble. It's important for assassins to watch their targets and to think of ways to kill them. Stop it. Stop, stop. We were just getting mushy, but you had to make it all bloody instead. 100%. We know they're in the exile hangar, but how do we get them out? By the way, the hangar has an alarm system that will go off if anyone approaches the shutter. On top of that, Kokichi has an alarm remote key to shut off that alarm system. And there's also an electric barrier, right? We need to do something about that, yes. too. Yes, but even approaching the control panel will set off the alarm, too. So many problems right from the start. What should we do? It's okay. We'll be fine. I think I know how to stop the alarm system in Electric Barrier. Does she have an idea? Well, we still have those hammers, right? They should have charged. Kokichi said that it takes 24 hours. Uh, um. How do you plan to get past the alarm system in Barrier? With the Electro Hammer. Yeah. Well, if we hit the control panel with it, it should disable the barrier. We did the same thing to the electronic lock on the exit to the outside world. But, but it won't work the same way on the alarm system, will it? The alarm will go off before we even get close enough to use the electro hammer. That's true. Then we'll use this. Ah, oh. oh, is that... <laughs> it's not exactly a bomb, though. Even if it is called an electro bomb, it jams electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with electromagnetic waves. For two hours, any and all electronic devices within 50 yards will be completely disabled. It's perfect for any secret activities too, since it doesn't leave any debris behind. This invention is extraordinary, but I only have three of them. So I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to settle for the electro hammer. Do you have that, Maki? There were only three and I thought Kokichi had them. I stole it from his pocket. Okay. During that time. Oh. Yeah! As expected, your kleptomania and terrifying glare are both first class. <laughs> the, the terrifying glare part was a joke. So you can stop. So can you stop glaring at me so terrifyingly? Thank you very much. Nice work, Maki. We can use that electro bomb to get inside the hangar. No. Not only that, it will disable all communication. Okay. That should include the remote control that Kokichi uses for the exiles. 100%. If we use the electro bomb in front of the shutter, it should affect the entire hangar. <laughs> then Kokichi will be good as butt naked. All he'll be able to do is hold his crouch and run. No. He still might be able to control an exile from inside. Oh my! But naked? No, I'm pretty sure he'll be close. Yeah. And we should bring the electro hammers as a precaution against the exiles. Yeah, thing. I 
sickness left mine sitting around without charging it. Sorry. Uh, sorry, but I did too. Hmm. It takes 24 hours to charge an electro hammer, so we'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. Huh? Going to wait until tomorrow morning? What about the hammer? Uh, well, we don't really have a choice, do we? Without the electro hammers, it's impossible. Remember. Rocky, I know that you don't want to wait a single minute more than necessary, but we shouldn't try to do this until tomorrow, when everyone is ready. That's true. Fine, so we'll do then. This time, we'll definitely kill him. Kill? Wait! Oh, Maki, you can't. Even if he is a remnant of despair, that doesn't... If we kill him, then everything will end. We have no other choice. For that reason, I will kill him. No, but you can't. You're right. I understand how you feel, Maki, but we'd feel bad after we killed him. Don't! He would be no different than the killing game that has caused us so much suffering. Yeah! Kaito said that killing is wrong, remember? I knew it. So we can't. Okay, okay. Fine. Everyone thinks that way, and I'll listen to you guys. Well... If it seems like anything dangerous is going to happen, then I'll definitely kill him. Oh. Wow! Maki's actually reliable? No. No, she's dangerous. There's nothing more dangerous than a heated Maki roll. <laughs> if a Maki roll gets too heated, you could burn your tongue. Did you see those guys? Did you see those eyes? They were like a predator looking at its prey. Well, uh, you may have deserved that, Himiko. But it's true that this is quite unexpected. I didn't think we'd be able to stand together as one again. And it's thanks to Maki. While we were sedentary, feeling sorry for ourselves, she was planning. I suppose it might also be thanks to Kaito. Because Kaito was worried about her. She promised to work hard to do her best. Ah, of course. If I pointed that out, she'd ask me if I wanted to die again. You got a minute? What are you looking at? Sorry. Ah, sorry. Hey, hey. Let's do our best. Then the three of us can train together again. Uh, okay. Yeah, right. We finalized our plan to get into the exile hangar tomorrow morning. Until then, we will wait for the electro hammers to recharge and finish preparations. We split up, focused on determined. All right. First, we need to charge the electro hammer. I shouldn't stand around waiting. I need to make up for lost time. There has to be something I can do. Nice job, Mr. Ultimate Detective. That was a wife's call, Shuichi. Your talent is useless now. The mystery of the killing game, the secret of the outside world, the mastermind's identity. They're all solved. We don't need a detective anymore. This is the true ending. No, it's not true. There has to be something I can do. All right. Right. I should scout the area. It'd be a good idea to check out the scene before we execute the plan. And... Worried about Kaito. He's hurt and he's sick. I'm sure he doesn't want me to worry about him, but I have to. Okay. Alright, I'll go. 